The demotion of a professor at Metro State University as students angry, a longtime educator of Chicano studies, was just removed as chair of the department. A letter says the professor was removed for, quote, unprofessional behavior. Students say the decision to demote the professor went too far and it hurts the Hispanic community. Here's investigative reporter Jeremy Hohola. We're not here to conform. Just like the Chicano activists who came before them. I think everyone in the department disagrees with this decision. Today's Chicano Studies students at Metro State are speaking out. They call what happened to Professor Dr. Adriana Nieto an injustice. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I generally feel it was racially motivated. Nine News obtained this letter written by the Dean of Arts and Sciences, John Massarini. He informs Dr. Nieto he is removing her as chair of Chicano Studies for unprofessional behavior while citing an incident in November. Two office workers wrote complaints saying Dr. Nieto made rude comments while hitting a desk when she inquired about tuition for her son. Women of color are always told to silence our voices, are always told that when we advocate for ourselves, it's aggression. Chicano Studies student Elizabeth Reyes says Nieto's demotion will hurt people on and off campus because of her advocacy work. She is the backbone of this community. She's the backbone of this department. She's the backbone of students in our individual and personal lives. If it wasn't for her, I would probably quit a long time ago. The letter also cited a summer performance review. Masserini characterized Nieto as having a tendency to emphasize the negative viewpoint. Yes, she not only helps people academically, but she helps them personally with their life as well. I know. Students say the uh, dean doesn't understand Nieto's advocacy for other students. They met with Masserini today, but that meeting didn't go well. He was not backing down from his decision, and I think that that is absolutely unexcusable. Dr. Nieto declined to comment to Nine News. In a statement from Masserini, he emphasizes Nieto is not losing her job and will be able to stay on his faculty. He adds in the statement that Chicano Studies Department is vital to MSU. You can read the entire statement and more about this story on 9news.com. Any more meetings planned or they're just waiting? Students say that if there's no decision reversed after they meet with more people, including the president, they may do a sit-out. Okay, thanks, Jeremy. Mm -hmm.